hi there welcome again so uh, we have created our first report data set and data source both so in this session I'm going to show you how to present the numbers on the report and how to design a report so in order to design that this is called our report data and this is the design pane and this is the server information what are the folders and the report you have so we have our first report ready so uh, now what we will do is like we we have our data source configured we have our data set configured now we are and the third uh, and the last step would be to create the and design the report so in order to design the report come to this design pane and there's a lot of option available to design so you have to right click and you have to go to insert and here you can see a lot of options are available for example text box line you can add table or metrics or you can add rectangle list uh, list is something which is kind of a group uh, we'll discuss that later so uh, you can add image sub report we'll discuss sub report separately chart gauze map data bar so a lot of options are available you can add the page header and footer as well so uh, we'll go ahead with the table option here and we'll first see how we can design a table so table is a report uh, object which is basically sits on top of the report designer and it will show you uh, the data what you have in our in your database so uh, right click on the top here in the top left of your table here so it will select this entire table and if you want to see the prior uh, the see the properties of the table you can just right click and click on table properties in the table properties you will see yeah, every table have a name so let's give a name for our uh, table uh, let's say called tbl underscore main this is our main table and then uh, come to data set then we have this data set name so data set name is basically uh, used because most of the time it happens like you have multiple uh, concept or multiple logic or multiple ways to represent the numbers or the data on the report so in that scenario you will create multiple data sets so uh, all the data set will be listed one by one here so in that scenario you have to explain uh, or you have to attach a particular data source to a table uh, so that table can understand that from which data source uh, the table has to uh, take the information and also this is important to note that a table can only be associated with one data set and not more than one so you can click here you can see automatically our data set name is coming up which is ds main so we can click here if you have four data set it if you click here click this drop down all four data set will be listed here okay so that's it so our data set main and we are ready to uh, get the we have already successfully linked it now click on okay so how, how we can uh, see that it is successfully linked because now if you hover on the table you can see this link over here you can click on that and now you can see uh, you can choose any of the field which has been listed in the data set so for example if I click on employee ID uh, this has been added so this section is called header this is called data so once you enter the data header will automatically be added with the same name all right so uh, for example employee name so employee name has been added phone number is added now I want to add the email but I do not have any space available in that case you can increase the number of columns and rows for example right click in insert column and if you want to insert in right it will add in right if you want to insert in left it will add in left similarly uh, if you want to add the rows then right click here insert rows uh, similarly so by default this table has a group which is called detail group here you can see row group and column group so row group is basically expand top to bottom and column group expand from left to right so uh, by default once you add a table it will add a group here which is called details group is basically row by row iteration of your data in a, in your database so uh, since I have only one field so I'll delete this one and I'll add email so here you can see that we have added this email also you can move this object all around anywhere so here you can you know just uh, what how you can do that just click on any of the box you can you have to click on top left and then select this one and just move around so I'll just put it here and I'll just put one of the uh, report headers so let's me put let me put the header for this report and let uh, let me say this report name uh, so so in order to put that header what you can do you can directly go and type here uh, my first SSRS report and uh, let's make it little big because header should be big so font is by default this uh, I'll go with 16 uh, let's make it a little bit uh, okay much better so this is all and then I'll move it up little here and then I'll bold it and let's make it in bit in middle all right perfect so I think uh, 
are let's, let me give some space to these columns and we are ready uh, with our data so this is this is our first basic report which is ready and uh, now let's go ahead and see how the how this report will execute it so here is you have an option called preview you can click on this and it will load the data in this pane itself so it will take some time and uh, it will uh, it will query your data set it will execute the query and put it into your report so here you can see that we have uh, successfully uh, executed our first report congratulations we have created our first ssrs report and uh, you are now ready to create your first ssrs report and this is how you can execute it and run it and create a lot of beautiful visualization and data analytics stuff so i'm really excited to move on and uh, this this is a very good uh, step that we have already configured our first report we have our first project ready our first report ready uh, so good job and next we will discuss how to add more object on this report in our next session till then take care and i'll see you in the next session take care bye